Perhaps I'm showing my age here, but I first learned about electronics using vacuum tubes. Here we see two tubes, and they are coupled together using a 0.02 microfarad capacitor and a 220k ohm resistor. Now, we'll talk about amplifier coupling another day, but for this video, what I wanted to talk about was the fact that these two components form a high pass audio filter. If we redraw it, like you might find in your textbook, we would talk about the voltage in and the voltage out. Again, here's that capacitor, 0.02 microfarads, and a 220k ohm resistor. The important thing to realize here is that the capacitive reactance changes as a function of frequency. Again, with audio frequency, our sound is always changing. So our capacitive reactance is always changing, which means our voltage output is going to change, both in terms of the absolute amplitude and in terms of the phase. At this point, many of you have been using phasers for quite some time, and I thought it would be useful to explore the filter from the perspective of the phasers that we've been using. We'll start by making a table we have the frequency in hertz, the capacitive reactants, and then the phasor output voltage. And for sake of discussion, we'll pick a few values. We'll start with 1, 3, and 10 hertz. Using the equation in green, you can calculate the capacitive reactants for every given frequency. The first one is 8 mega ohms. You can calculate the phasor output voltage using the voltage divider rule. Here the output is the real part divided by the real minus capacitive reactants. For a frequency of 1 hertz, we see that we have a very small voltage, essentially 0, at a phase angle of 88 degrees. At 3 hertz, it gets a little bit better, now 2.7 mega ohms. And you'll see the phase angle is starting to decrease. We'll continue on by selecting a few more frequencies and we'll go ahead and fill in those values. Again using the equation for the capacitive reactants in the second column and using the voltage divider in the third column. At this point the pattern for this high pass filter should be pretty clear. For any frequency higher than 1000, we can simply say that the output voltage is the same as the input voltage. Before we leave this video, we should draw our attention to this circled point here, somewhere around 50 hertz. This would be described as the cutoff frequency for this particular filter. You'll recall that the cutoff frequency for the filter is described by an output voltage of 0.707 of the input voltage at a phase angle of 45 degrees.